Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another episode of our Attila Total War Saxon Campaign. And in this episode I hope to kind of like invade, start invading Italy, um, start maybe taking Milan and uh, Saguso and uh, I've forgotten what this province is called, Genoa of course, how could I forget Genoa? Um, or Genoa as it is at this point. Um, I'd like to also try and sort out the uh, rebellion problems over here in the uh, Gallic provinces we've taken and uh, try and stop them rebelling because I'd like to move some of these armies forward and use them in the offensives as we come to the end of this campaign. Um, I mean the end of the campaign is probably going to end when we take Rome and that will, we see that as like the end of taking out the Western Roman Empire as like a real force. I imagine it's going to start to crumble very soon anyway. Look, the Picts and the Geats are here and they'll start burning a lot of stuff to the ground. But I hope you guys are enjoying this campaign even though it is coming uh, to an end, I hope you guys are still enjoying it. Please do keep leaving likes, comments, and uh, subscribes if you are new around here to join the Papal Legion. And if you want to uh, obviously get involved in more on more of the ongoings of the Legion, then do join the Discord, which is in the li uh, in there's a link down below in the description. Um, but anyway, let's get on with the campaign at hand. So I think we've done most of the stuff that we uh, could do last turn we've taken Octodorum and there's going to be a rebellion here very very soon but we are starting to convert a lot of stuff it should be um, well should be tenable we are also changing stuff here as well um, but we need to sort out food I'm pretty sure in this province yeah we need to sort food out here desperately we're not really getting any growth though so it might be worth putting this in when we get the chance because that, even though it's going to put public order up the food is going to change massively that could help we still need a provincial governor very well. Um, it's going to be in Belgica because Belgica is goddamn in a lot of problems. Um, which one of you is really good? Lord. Uh, yes, you're fairly good. Dignitary, tax rate, that could be fairly useful. Zeal, I'm going to take the dignitary. I'm going to put him in Belgica. There we go. And then he can have a province. Uh, he needs an edict. Can we do that? Right, I would like public order from. Germanic paganism would be handy. Is Germanic paganism is going up here anyway? So this is, and it's not really the problem. Like religious differences is slightly a problem, but it's not. It's, there's not one for uh, growth could be quite handy. I think at this point, growth so I can build more stuff, um, which will help with food. And that will be what we go with. And then when this guy levels up a bit, uh, we will probably. Well, get him straight down to the food uh, option. I'm not going to war with a, a, that faction all the way over in the east. I'm not going to war with people for the sake of going to war with people. And especially not for 500 coins. Vandals think me cheap. I am no cheap. Mercenary. I guess I'll go with mercenary. I was going to say something else, but I, I think that's uh, not appropriate. <laughs> If you know, you know. It looks like the Western Roman Empire hasn't reacted. It's just sent a, a, a I don't know, it was a, some sort of spy down here. Can you not attack these folks? No, I'd rather not attack them. I don't really want another front opening up right now. Rebellion. There we go. We have a rebellion. There's a disease outbreak. Where was that? I didn't re didn't actually see where that was. Oh, in Rontomega. So in the same province as the rebellion. Excellent. Um, just what we need. And yeah, it's raiding now in Rontomega. So obviously Swabians and Illyria at war. And resettlement, yep, has been done. Let's just tell you to go and attack here. This guy's going to be slowly loading up quite nicely from doing this constantly. I might get him a few more troops because it might be handy. Um, I don't really want to... S oh yeah, we're definitely going to get him a few more troops. We lost a whole unit. Jeez. That was pretty brutal. Um, I'm not going to sell him in the province because it's got disease. Um, there is actually going to be another rebellion here, which is a bit of a problem. Let's get him some Saxon spears because they are... Actually, they're not as good. They're not as good as the Nordic Spears now. They don't. They look cooler to the Nordic Spears, I will admit. 
not the Nordic, and um, the Saxon spears are cooler than the Nordic ones. I imagine these guys are eventually going to get a level up, but I'm not sure. Some Warhounds would be quite cool as well, but don't really need them. There is going to be a rebellion here, but not yet. I'm going to put the food thing is. I know it's going to damage my uh, public order, but it's actually probably going to, in the long run, actually bring this down because, well, the miners 18 at f with, because of food is definitely probably the reason why this place is unhappy. Octodorum is actually going up. I'm going to put in, actually, no. No, no, no. What's the food? It's looking at minus nine. And the reason for we have immigrants is the main cause of the problem. Okay. I am going to have to put something in here, though. I'm probably going to put in... Hmm. I'd like to put a well in. It would help with growth. Yeah, let's put a well in. And then I'm going to put in... Let's put in some fields in Visontio. Helps me get cavalry and also food. All in one go. That's what we need. And Juricorum is also nearly um, my, uh, well, my, a true settlement. A true settlement. Uh, I could start invading. I don't know whether I really want to though. I kind of want to free up some more stuff first. So where have I got armies? I've got armies just about everywhere. This one here in um, Britain really needs to sort itself out. It is slowly converting as well. I could do with really just getting more growth here. I need to make this something to help with public order. And um, food also is actually not positive here. Religious differences. Oh, we need to get Germanic paganism up. Apparently because it's not, it's still not going up. Um, could do with changing this to Germanic Paganism, I think, then. Food is also down at minus three, so we could do with putting something in to improve the food. Quite possibly. That is going to bring food down as well. Yeah, we definitely could do with upgrading the food there as well. Just getting ourselves a little bit more food here and there. Well, in the turn again, there's not much. It's going to be a little bit of a rebuilding one, I imagine. We'll try and expand as well. Um, like I said, I do want to kind of start to put that uh, pressure on Rome as soon as possible. Especially before anyone else comes sweeping in and starts taking land, possibly. Or maybe the hordes start sacking stuff, because I don't really want to uh, have to resettle stuff. Oh, a big legion there in southern uh, Gaul, though. That's going to be a problem. That's the faction leader. Bit late though, he's missed his uh, city being sacked to the ground. But if I was Rome now, I'd to play, I'd ho just hold those two settlements in the uh, in the south. A faction destroyed the Alans, and there's going to be a rebellion imminent in Belgica. And another one in uh, Lugdunensis. Well, I'll put this guy back in here. I actually will probably stop that from rebelling for a bit. I don't really want to put him in here where it's going to be plague and nasty and horrible. Food is actually positive here as well. Wow. Um, this place just needs... I just need to take that other flipping province. They, they're they still sieging it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to take that anytime soon. Might have to war... Um, Britannia Inferior is now... Well, Britannia Inferior is doing really well. It's like going to be one of my most happiest provinces. There we go. Plus five. That's already like doing better. And there we go. Germanic Paganism going up. That is what we needed. Um, I could put that in for food. Um, it's minus one currently. It'll make it minus two. Food's actually no longer a problem here. Yeah, so that's actually that, that's fine. I don't need that then. Don't need to upgrade that just yet. Trade wharf I could possibly put in. I'm really wanting to still just expand over here though. Build more stuff here. Definitely want to put a chieftain tall in. What's the food situation here? It's not atrocious, but it's not great. Um, versus, you could definitely could always do with more stuff, I guess. But you don't need anything massively. We're getting stuff sorted out there as well. 
No, I think I'm going to put this in. Just help with um, food and it'll help with sanitation, which is always useful. I've got some money for some troops. I'm going to recruit a few more. Hmm. Maybe some... I'll just get some slingers. Just get some slingers to help out. Now, if I took you out of settlement, what would it go to? Minus two. Yeah, not really wanting to do that just yet then. I'll wait a few more turns and maybe smooth some stuff up. I'll see. We will see. Yeah, immigrants. I don't know if immigrants will eventually go down. Should, I would imagine. Immigrants here is minus 17, though. Jeez. So clearly they just don't like it. <laughs> don't, I'm not quite sure how you get rid of the immigrants thing, actually. I think that's one of the only things I don't really know with Attila. Is how you get rid of the immigrants debuff. I guess with... I don't know, because I've made that a... I would have said with changing these to, like, their factions type, but apparently not. Anyway, we'll end the turn again. We are flicking through quite a few turns, but anyway. I hope you guys are well and staying healthy and safe inside at the moment as well. I do like to keep it... Uh, make sure you guys are okay and stuff you know. I don't know why, but, you know. Just make sure that you're all nice and well. That's always good. In these trying times, I mean, it's awful. The weather outside is so nice. I'm literally looking at it right now, and it's so tempting to go out there. With Bryn, you don't get this very often. Don't get it at all. And there you go. Rome is uh, going to make an offensive, it looks like. It looks like he's taken out one army of Picts, or I think it was the Picts. The Picts and the Geats are all scattered all over the place at this point. Uh, it's kind of hard to keep track of which one's which. Well, it's not. They've got their own faction image, but... They are uh, all over the place right now. I mean, they're getting all into Spain now. Oh, and the Makamans are nearby as well. And there you go, another rebellion in Lugdenensis. A holy vision, though. Public order has gone go plus two because of this good omen. Um, and I might just leave this guy here to die. It's a just starve for a little bit. And also, it'll help with the public order. Get this down a bit. That's the more the problem. It is kind of the problem right now. Um, right, let's also... We could put this up. Toolmaker. It's not really what I want to do right now. I'd rather put a warrior shrine in. Maybe a troughs as well. There you go. That's probably all my money... Nearly all my money spent again. Thirsty for battle, Thirsty for battle indeed. Uh, I don't know really what else I want to spend my money on. I could maybe move stuff, but it's in winter. Probably not. Let's see if we can get any uh, alliances. Except to Marnie. A Gaul. No, these are Caledones, I was going to say. The Caledones and Gaul sort of like me, but they sort of don't. You on behalf of the people. Not aggression? Yes, I thought so. You are at war with the right people as well. A flapping tongue that speaks without wisdom is not... Yeah, I don't care about what you... I just want an alliance with you guys. But you just hate me. I look forward to your wisdom. The Abdanians. Welcome, worthy friend. Military access. You, you'd really like that, but I'm not going to give it to you, unfortunately. I really need to... Oh, and the German... Germanic separatists have uh, forced out the Quadians. Interesting. Who I'm very friendly Welcome. with. We but deteriorating quickly, you. because... Well, I'm not surprised. Uh, Thurungians. I have little gain in wasting the trade. Day. I've been warned by people that the tribes are going to start from the east are going to start causing problems for me. I don't know if that's the case because I mean these guys are still in the way. Like the Burgundians and Thurungians probably will be fine. Like I'm presuming you meant like the Sabirs and like maybe these guys um, in the east. Maybe the Rugians would be a problem. But I'm like fairly friendly if you look with like most of these guys. Like I don't think they're going to be a problem. It's going to it's the south that hates me. The south of the world. I mean they sort of hate me over here, but. And the Sabirs do hate me, in fact. But not terribly. Where are the... How bad are the Huns? They're rank 5. Okay, they're not doing too bad then. They must have rebuilt some hordes or something. But, I mean, they've not got their main faction leader, L. And usually it's Attila. Has Attila not come of age yet? Surely he has. Well, no, well, actually he won't have yet. Sit and let your work... No, I didn't think you would take a defensive alliance. We are, as always, a welcoming host. No, I didn't think... Uh, the Romans don't really like me enough. The Vandals. 
Welcome, worthy friends. Slowly deteriorating. Why don't they just take some of this land? Come on, it's just no need. Actually, that's a good point. Let's see if I can get the Vandals to rejoin this war. They're actually that's why they're have need of not at war with these I'm people. Sure. We also need good food, a warm fire, and warmer women. What's their opinion then of the? It's eighty. Uh, well, how much would I have to offer you? Let's see if I can offer this all this money and get you to join. No. Well, that's just useless. You're just useless allies. Um, I'll build more of my navy then, I guess. I don't really need to use his money on it, but I kind of want to. There you go. We'll build four ships. That'll do. End the turn. That'll certainly secure as well from me, because I won't be losing that to any rebel forces anytime soon. Also, it's also got a good garrison, I'm pretty sure, so... It's really not under threat. The Geats... Moving around again. <laughs> Romans clearly aren't going to be taking the offensive. It looks like, oh yeah, they're falling back. They do not like uh, the situation over there. And there's uh, Lugdunum is now actually available to be taken. I might strike out for it with from Octodoron. Because I really need that settlement just because, well, got to make Rontomagus happy. And it's just not happy. I've got to just make that, like, a really happiness. Yeah, it's, they take it. I expected the rebels would take it. Belgica's actually going to rebel. That's surprising. Yeah, I'll, I might strike out from Octodorum and take this because I need to take it just to secure. Let them cower before us. Um, just to really secure. Can I build any more? No. Secure this, um, this province kind of for myself. Like, because this one hates me. It just hates me with a passion. You can upgrade. You can just get take melee. Take. Um. I guess. Well, Zeal's going to help you with, like, integrity. That's great, but I don't really need you for that. I want more authority, possibly. Um, but I guess I'll give you cutting. Oh, I get... And you've got abilities up here that I can hand out. We've got some really good ones. Oh, uh, yeah. You definitely need local ad that one. Why has this guy not got it? He needs that, definitely. I guess have morale when in allied territory, because you are going to be in allied territory a lot, just in port. And then... And you've not already got any infantry, I guess I'll give you armor for your commander's unit. Here we go, we'll attack these guys again. Take them out. Stab him in the head. Lovely. I was trying to get you guys a battle, but it's finding one. At the moment, I don't really have any foes. And then you can go back to Duracorum. And I might spend the money on just converting this. Let's see if there's anything in Maximana Sequania I'd like to really... Sequara and them. Nothing straight away that really like dra draws my eye, but... Immigrants here is also still a problem, but it's going down actually quicker there. I'm going to convert this Colonia Crepiana as well. Then I don't have to keep this army here because I'll actually have a good garrison. I only have to keep one army then in Belgica, just keeping this under control. And it can also just deal with this problem. I will just probably keep it here. And it can slowly deal with stuff. And this army can then can move on. And this one can move on as well. Um, I may move on to Vasantio soon. Um, food, is that still a problem here? No, and I don't really want to sort of make it a problem. Um, um, <laughs> no, I don't know if there's anything I really want to do there. Britain, food is still a problem here though. Food is clearly a problem here. Yeah, minus seven. Let's sort that out. Let's put more food problems. Not more food problems, less food problems, please. Oh god, we do not want more food problems. There you go. And then you've still got something to sort out. You've got general. Okay, you've got a thing. Authority, maybe? Um, yeah, I'll put one there and I'll put one there. That helps with the authority. That's going to help 
the public order a little bit, but it's going to rebel anyway. It looks like it will rebel whatever we do. Yep, and it's done it in Colonia Agrippiana. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. I will deal with that as I'll deal with the rebels here in uh, Lugdunum. I might do the siege battle. I might do the siege battle for you guys. Because I think we've got overwhelming odds on our side. And it'll provide a battle for you guys because I'm sure you want to see some glorious battles. Even if they are going to be me just stabbing a lot of people to death because there's hardly a garrison. But I'm only going in with ram a ram, so it will be interesting to see. I don't know if the walls are fixed. They may not be fixed. Um, if, it, if they are fairly fixed, I'm going to definitely get towers as well. I probably should have got towers first anyway, instead of a ram. But I'll uh, I'll show the siege of uh, Lugdunum if it's oh okay who's it Septimania oh and they're allied with uh, oh uh, I'm definitely gonna break my alliance sorry uh, yes I will end the war on your side sorry Macamons but you're actually no use to me anymore anyway as an ally faction destroyed there you go they weren't even worth um. Worthy Bride. Uh, intervene. I don't really want you to have any marriages. No marriages allowed. There you go. Now you can go take this guy out. Chop him down. There we go. Just kill you. Lovely. Yeah, these, those Saxon Spears don't fare so well. There you go, and then you can go back to, like, so. Yeah, they don't fare so well, just realised. Um, okay, so we have a ram. The walls are at 67% strength, so I think there will be holes in the wall. So I'll fight this. They've got barely any infantry anyway, and they've got... Basically a little ragtag stuff. I'll just fight this and should, so give you guys something to uh, enjoy on the battlefield. So I'll see you guys in a moment when we are attacking the walls of Lugdunum. Okay, so we are back on the battlefield. And the plan is to go through this gate over here. Mainly because, uh, well, the other side has towers. Uh, this side is just a gate. So why would we go and attack the other side? So I'm just going to probably just send up these guys. And this will probably do. There's no towers over here. They've got some archers, which is fine. I'll just send up my uh, slingers to about here. Actually, let's do them in two lines. Let's go like so, and then like so. I guess send up the cav just in case they sally out, but I doubt it. And apparently the enemy tremble. I wouldn't be surprised if they did. They have artillery, of course they have flipping artillery. So they are going to cause some trouble, it would seem. Actually, let's make a column formation, therefore they can probably not hit us as easily. I didn't realise I sent up these guys as well, but get back. When did my general get told to get sent up? Get back. Yeah, I'm not surprised, because he's flipping stupid. Getting himself in a fight that he doesn't need to be in. Um... I'm going to send back all the infantry. I don't know why I've sent it forward. Like These guys are just getting focused down for no reason. Are they even getting hit here? They are a couple, but not many. You can hear like, the little pebbles moving along. Let's just uh, fast forward a little bit. Jeez, they're really trying to hit my uh, ram. But yeah, I mean, I hate Attila sieges, but I mean, this I can kind of get behind. I mean, it's so easy. It's not even like worth really fighting. Oh, we're hitting cavalry back here. Or we were hitting some sort of cavalry. Just get to the gate already. Like, come on, man. Um, it looks like we're, oh, we're wavering this crossbow unit. Wow. They are really not happy. Um, yeah, hit these guys. Keep hitting these guys. Don't know if we can. Um, you guys hit stuff back here, then. 
Yeah, these... I mean, we set up one of the most elite units. I think we had to. Anyway, some of the other guys were definitely broken at this point. Like these Nordic goddamn brigade, which are just useless. Look at them. Look at these guys. They ain't, they ain't gonna be able to get the job done. Um, shoot all the cavalry back here. Actually, stand here. Start sending up um, infantry as well. Start sending up all this infantry. This battered up infantry that I've already managed to destroy. Oh, we had another ram. Well, we didn't need it. We got this one here just in time. Just in one piece. Is there a gate over here? No, there is only just one gate then. Oh, well, one gate and one with gate and towers. There you go. Get in here. Get in there. Um, send the cavalry in as well, because why not? And then all the infantry just charge in. I don't even care at this point. Just send them in. Shoot anything on the wall. Actually, shoot all these guys that are just standing on the wall. I mean, this is their only infantry unit, and they've just got it on the wall. This is not going to help their defense. This is the AI for you. They had it in front of the gate as well earlier. Oh, no, they have a general unit. Their general unit is also... Is this, oh, he's actually a Palatina Guard. Oh, nice to see that the um, Ballista here has not got a good line of sight. These uh, axes are nearly beaten up, though. That's a worrying sign. I guess they got charged by the Cataphracti. Got pretty beaten up there. And the good to see that the Orange is gone as well. Charge these guys. Uh, send in the rest of the Axemen, I guess. If everything else gets in, that's fine. It's not the end of the world. There you go. They're all breaking. Charge these guys down. Oh, you yeah, maybe charge these guys down first. Wow, they are actually wavering my axes. Oh no, these are Nordic Axe Band. These are... Oh no, these are these guys. Wow, they're actually wavering. General, just go and sit there. Um, Slingers, get outside. What are you doing here? Get outside. You don't want it in here. This is why I hate uh, Attila Sieges. Because even though you send up plenty of troops and like... I really shouldn't have lost so many men. Like, if I all resolve this, which is why people are like, oh, why don't you do sieges? Because this is what happens when you do sieges. You end up having a lot more casualties than you really should be getting. Like, all I should have to do, uh, I can actually definitely get this unit round. I can definitely get that unit round. There's already a barricade here. I don't even care about your barricades. Now charge these guys, please, I beg. Archers, hold your fire. Come on. Everything's wavering now anyway. Actually, no, just send everything else. Go and take out this. Cavalry can carry on doing their thing. Like, I've lost a couple of units, and they probably shouldn't have lost this many men, but who knows? Maybe I'd have lost more. It's probably, it's going to accumulate to about 100 odd losses, 100, 200 odd losses. Get around the back of that. Here we go, charge to the back of these guys. You, you missed them guys, come on! What's the damage? The barricade's not even that badly damaged. General, can you take this guy out for God's sake? The Ballastari there just need to killing. There we go, there's one gone. Let's kill this general, come on. 53, 55, come on. 
Alright, archers, if you can shoot... Oh, the general's gonna break. Doesn't even matter. And we'll end the battle. There we go. A decisive victory. Didn't really... Yeah, I've lost 500 men. See, I wouldn't have lost that many if I'd uh, just auto-resolved it. Uh, definitely would have... Uh, they basically kill a man for every man that was defending. Plus a bit more. So yeah, that's uh, why Rome to, uh, Attila sieges are not that fun. Rome sieges are perfectly fun. Uh, but yeah, we're taking the sea. And there you go, you get to see a joyous occasion of me doing a siege. And I complain every step of the way because I hate sieges. <laughs> I hate them so much. Um, but yes, we'll put in a farmstead. That will help that. That will put Germanic paganism on the rise. We'll destroy the forum and we'll destroy that. And now I can do some technology. Um, of which, I'd like to really do that. How much money do we have? We don't have enough. Can I get any money out of people? Any money out of people? Maybe the Swabians. My friend, Maybe the welcome. Swabians. Join what? No, I'm not joining your war against the flipping Roman separatists. They're not, they've got enough problems over here as it is. Benedians. Good and noble friend. What an honor you do Hi, us. yeah, I'm not Some surprised, so I'll demand some money out of you. There we go, 900. Arugians next, I guess, will do. Good and noble Defensive Alliance, no. Geats. I look forward to your wisdom. We've got everything with you. Actually, no, we haven't. We've got, I haven't got a military alliance, but I don't know if I can. I yeah, I can get a military alliance. Wisdom. No, you don't want that. I look forward to your wisdom. Shut up, uh, Jutes. You can't offer me anything. Um, Burgundians. Good and noble friend. No, I have really have done ev just about everything with some people. Really have, like, gone through every single thing. Huns, I really wish we could Do get an alliance. Not an alliance, or non-aggression. It's because I'm at war with the Ostrogoths. Oh, allied with the Ostrogoths. Need of talk. Which really need to start settling somewhere. Uh, who's this? Oh, Western Roman ne uh, rebels in Tyronum. That's also then possibly worth taking because that will unite this province. Ready for battle. And if we can unite that province, that'll be excellent. Um, how much money do we have? 2,000. I could do with just another little bit. Oh, Hispania's been formed out here. Come then. Trade? Speak. No, you would not want to do trade. Um, Western Germanic separatists. Pork, Can't offer me anything. No surprise there. Come, come. Trade? Me hear your no. Talk. I warn you. I non aggression. No for the meek. You literally won faction. How could you even afford it? I guess Caledons we're gonna we have to eventually to offer you. No, Ebdanians, isn't it? Ebdanians wanted military access Welcome, and they were gonna worthy friend. Let us break demand and drink ale before uh, not that much then. Five hundred. That's all I need. Five hundred. Wow, they just rejected me Welcome. how dare they we will... I just I wish these guys would just shut up I don't really, don't really care about them saying welcome 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 so he's gonna greetings say it now to you. greetings I oh, even you worse honorable words that I can hear yeah I thought you'd take my non-aggression pack for free um that's okay you can take that for free I'm not too worried I guess I'll just have to go with something else for now I'll go with the one turn thing and another another time um, I'll go with the foreign siege mo motions gives us better siege equipment and then this uh, guy can go with authority and he can go with integrity that'll help improve a lot of stuff um, yeah this is a little bit of a problem but it's not the end of the world 2000 we could probably spend that in Britain on something no we can't this is now going minus two bit of a problem but that is not the end of the world and it looks like the Geats are going to siege town Augusta Vindelicorum. Um, well, that's interesting. But anyway, guys, it does look like um, that is probably going to have to wrap up this episode. We didn't actually get into Italy, which is a, a bit of a shame, but we did take um, a Lungadum, or however you pronounce this. And it's going to help unite this uh, province. And we could then go on and take Toronum, which I'll probably take with this army up here at some point, And then I can just strike down and do some damage. Um, and it looks like Belgica also is sort, uh, slowly going to be sorted out and become less AV of a problem. Well, hopefully anyway. That's what I'm uh, trying to sort out. And I'm going to put tax rate, chief eunuch. Let's give you, I guess, some stuff quickly. And give you 
infantry. And then you can have wolf and you can have... What's that? Zeal. Yeah, you can have that as well. He's a pretty awful uh, general though, I just realised. But anyway, guys, that's like I said, that's where we're going to have to wrap up this episode. If you've enjoyed, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe, and a comment. Um, just to show your support really, really helps out and uh, means a lot to the channel. So until next time, Legionnaires...